Hi everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Dave Tyner from Autodesk, and I am an Enterprise Solutions Lead uh, with a focus on immersive technology. So I work with enterprise customers to uh, try to get their enterprise data sets um, into and performing in uh, VR, and then from there uh, trying to create some functionality. So that's what my team does, um, and what I'm going to demonstrate for you today is the Recap Point Cloud plugin that we've um, developed for Stingray. Uh, a guy named Mustafa Bismi put that whole thing together, and um, really great work. Um, it's going to get greater, as you, you'll see. This is very proof of concept, but uh, you can also see that I'm staring at a Point Cloud in VR right now. So first thing to know in this um, experience is that uh, when you teleport, you teleport with the big the big circle pad here on the Vive, um, it, you're only going to teleport on your Z, right? So you can't go lower than that. To go lower, you need to uh, press this menu button here to go through these modes. And one of the modes is climbing. And so you, very easy, you press the grip on either controller, hold it, pull down, or up and you'll go down or up. So very, very easy uh, to remember that, I think. Um, uh, also, we have uh, these other modes, like adjusting mode, where we can, if you press on the controller 2, the non-menu um, non controller, you can decrease the points. Uh, you can increase the points with the other one. So up and down. Um, you can see the you know it, render quality is good, performance is good. Um, this is a very small point cloud. If this was a large one, I probably wouldn't have uh, this many points because performance would start to get crazy. Um, what else can you do in here? Ah, you can adjust your um, scale. So if I press the tree, uh, the, sorry, the grip again on the controller two, I scale larger, and if I hold it on the um, the controller one I come back to regular size but um, yeah we got to fix this uh, aware of that but if we come here and we go into climbing mode then we can you know see our data and it's uh, a different scale whatever for whatever reason we might want to do that um, not only because it's cool but because it has value and okay so let's go back into climbing mode here and um, let's load up the next one. So uh, the way this works is I have it tied to a CSV file. And so I just have a bunch of point clouds listed in that CSV file. So I'm just going to go on over to the level change mode now. And um, if I press the controller one trigger, it's going to just unload the current point cloud. And if I press the controller two trigger, then um, it's going to load the next one. So that's what I'm going to do. And this one, I believe, is a bit larger, so it might take uh, might take a minute or two to load up as we... Oh, okay. And by minute, I meant second. And what is this? The points are gigantic, that's for sure. So I want to fix that. Oh yeah, and the um, the menu gets hidden behind the cloud sometimes. Sorry about that. Again, very work in progress. We got some stuff to figure out still. So I believe this is our um, yeah. So this is um, Pier Nine uh, in San Francisco. Uh, but the scan, these points are huge. So what I'm going to do here. Because I'm just going to exit out of this. And I have this spreadsheet here, and I have Pier 9, and the points are 0 0.065, which is... All right. So that's way, way smaller now. And every third point, let's do every single point. Save. So these are pretty self-explanatory. You have your file location, point size, fade-out distances, the volume with, in which the um, points render. It's dynamic. 
you can increase it while you're in there. And then skip point is every nth point, obviously. So yeah, so let's do that. And then I'm also going to um, I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna make it the first one that loads. All right. So now that's done. Let's fire it back up. And we'll load right into uh, right into that point cloud. It's a big one, so it takes a second. Yep, as you saw. All right, that's better. Okay. So now, um, and you can see the, ren the red is when it's rendering, uh, performance is going to be pretty terrible while that's happening. So I suggest you hang out <laughs> and wait for that uh, to be done because it gets a bit laggy. But this is a lot of points. I won't do that because I'm become immune or something to uh, getting sick. But okay. So, climbing, good, uh, markup, adjusting. So now I can increase the volume, and yeah, I mean, pretty clear. And when I'm working in this area, then that is what needs to be fully rendered. And when I come over here, um, I need this to be fully rendered, right? Or denser, more dense. All right, so now we're in the machine area, and um, anyway, you can see that it's uh, it's good quality, maybe not great, but pretty darn good. Um, you know, that a lot of that depends on the scan, uh, the quality of the scan, of course, but um, uh, really nice quality. So now let's take a look at um, how we go ahead and set this up. All right, so let me show you really quick how to set this up. It's super, super easy. Um, so first you have your compiled Stingray project, which you'll download. Um, you need the point clouds obviously to be somewhere accessible to the machine you are running this from um, and then i the most important part here is going to be uh, that in your c temp directory you need to have this point clouds folder and in that point clouds folder you need to have this point under bar clouds csv file and that csv file looks exactly like this so um, you have your name which is arbitrary that can be anything. Uh, obviously the path has to be the right path and then the full file name with the extension. Um, and then from there we have uh, the point size. So for each, you know, for each one, what do you want the uh, point size to be? That is not adjustable on the fly. You can only adjust it outside of here. So you just get in, you know, play with uh, that setting a little bit and find out what the optimal settings are for each model. Uh, the fade out distance is um, the points are rendered within a volume. So this is a 10 square meter uh, volume of U. And, and um, that's, that is dynamic. So you can increase that volume or decrease it while you're in the experience, uh, as you saw with the adjusting um, mode. Uh, forget this octree min size. It's just, I mean, you can play with it, whatever. I just leave it on two because that works fine. Um, and then the skip point count so every nth point so this is one would be every single point 10 would be every tenth point um, and so on and then the scale of the entire volume of points so you know what do you want the scale of it to be um, again this is dynamic you can adjust it on the fly but you know maybe you just wanted to load it smaller so that's what um, you know zero to one or you know point zero one to one is what your uh, range is there. And yeah, after that, it's you know super easy. You just kick it off um, with the executable. It reads the CSV file, which points to the um, RCP file, which is then loaded up. You can also run it on PTS files, PLY files. Um, we're still in various stages of testing with those, but the RCPs are pretty solid. So um, yeah, good luck and uh, let us know how it works.